my solution. Uh, I guess I'm the first one to publish this in systematic form. The reason my solution seems uh, unobvious to so many people is that they've developed the blind side. They no longer see the obvious. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. The measuring instrument is corporeal, and that's a different world. That's the real world, and the world of the physicist is a subcorporeal world, which is it's a very interesting philosophical problem. It neither exists nor does not exist. It's sort of halfway between, and this is what actually philosophers of bygone ages have referred to as the world of potentialities. Potentia. Mm -hmm. So physics on the quantum level has penetrated beneath the level of our perceptible world and has entered a world of potentia, sort of halfway between existence and non-existence. Mm -hmm. At the simplest level, though, the quantum enigma is that there's this mathematical description of the quantum world but any time there's an interaction with the quantum world, that, that wave function, that mathematical description kind of collapses down to yeah. a quantum particle. Yeah. Another way of putting it is that a measurement actualizes a potential, a potency. It becomes, instead of a potential, an actuality. Yeah. And, and nobody ever touches the, the potential the, the potentia, right? You can't actually uh, the interact potentia, with that world. Yeah, they exist in theory. They do not exist in reality. In reality. <laughs>